Okay, so we have a problem here with two linkages, AB and BC, pinned connections at A, B, and C. There's a collar at C that can slide only in the X direction. By looking at this, we can conceptually know that A will not move and that C will move to the right. The first so the first step we want to take in this problem is to do a little bit of geometry. So I'll let you take a moment see if you can find the geometry. Okay, now we have the geometry of each link and we know the vectors RB with respect to A and RC with respect to B, which we will use in calculating the relative velocity and acceleration equations. So step two, what we're going to want to do is write down the relative velocity equation to find the velocity at B. When we look at this equation, right off the bat, we know that this is going to zero because A is pinned and it's stationary. And we've been given omega AB and we've just calculated R with B respect to A in the first step. So we compute the cross product and find that velocity of B is this. Next we'll want to find the relative acceleration of B with the relative acceleration equation. We also know that the acceleration at A is going to be zero. So we can compute the cross product and substitute values for omega AB and RB with respect to A which we already know. Then some simple algebra we will have the acceleration at B. With these two, acceleration at B and velocity at B, we can move on to calculate, calculating the acceleration at C, which we have a formula for. So in step three, we're going to write down our equation and substitute values in for R, C with respect to B, the acceleration of B, and find the components of each in the x and y directions. And so instead of looking at this ugly mess all in one, I'm going to break it up into two equations, one in the i direction and one in the j direction. All right, now we have two equations equating the acceleration in the x direction, alpha bc and omega bc. So unfortunately, we need to find another relationship before we can solve for the acceleration of the coupling in the x-direction. Alright, so now we're going to look at finding the velocity at C with the relative velocity equation. We've already calculated the velocity of B and we can simply compute the cross product leaving omega BC as a variable to find two equations in the i and j directions from this relative velocity equation. And we can now see that omega BC can be found from the J components of the relative velocity equation. Okay, now we can go to the J component direction from step three and substitute omega BC in and solve for alpha BC. From this equation, we find out that alpha BC equals 30.66. So for our sixth and final step, we'll put the value for alpha BC into the I direction from the relative acceleration equation from step three. And by substituting the values for alpha BC and omega BC, into this equation, we end up with the result of 66.9, and our units on this problem are feet per second squared for acceleration. So the collar is going only in the x direction and accelerating at this instant at 66.9 feet per second squared to the right. Okay, to recap what we did in this problem, we started by looking at the geometry of the problem. We were given omega AB and alpha AB. This enabled us 
to use the relative velocity equation to find the velocity at B and the acceleration at B. Once we knew the acceleration and the velocity at B, and with the knowledge that C only moved in the X direction, we were able to use the relative acceleration and relative velocity equations between point C and B to solve for omega BC, alpha BC, and then the acceleration of C in the X direction.